Brian Davis, and your Storm Team 2 forecast. And the main water issue tonight is frozen uh, solid water out over the mid-Atlantic states and down into the Ohio Valley. We're looking at a lot of snow out there, especially south of us. But it uh, looks like mostly our southern counties are going to be impacted by the snow this evening. We're expecting temperatures around 25 at 7 o'clock, 24 at 9 p.m., 23 at 11. Best chance of snow to our south down into Warren and also Clinton counties, maybe the southern and southeastern part of Greene County. Southern Butler County could see a little snow as as well. 20 degrees tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock with cloudy skies. Clouds break during the day, 28 at noon, up near 30 tomorrow afternoon, 29 at 5 p.m. And so the snow, as I mentioned, they're mainly impacting those counties to our south and southeast. Snow totals an inch or two in those southeast counties. Some drifting snow with the gusty winds out there as well. Even places that don't get the snow today or this evening may still have a little bit of drifting tonight. And then dry weather expected for the weekend. Really not a bad looking weekend forecast. Right now, we're looking at dry weather. Downtown Dayton, cloudy skies here, though. As we look to the south, though, a different story. You can see some of that snow impacting the southeast corner of Butler County, about the southern half of Warren County, and a good part of Clinton County seeing the snow now, and maybe even around Interstate 71 in the southeast corner of Greene County seeing some of that light snowfall. But the bulk of the heavy snow down into Tennessee, Nashville's been reporting heavy snow. Snow all the way down south to Birmingham, Alabama, and you can see the real heavy bands of snow working northward into Virginia, uh, spreading up into West Vir western Virginia there. I've been looking at some of the mountain cams around Snowshoe, West Virginia. They're just getting buried with snow. And Washington, D.C., the heavier snows there with uh, just southwest of New York City, the leading edge of the snow approaching them. We are looking at a winter weather advisory in effect for Warren and also Clinton counties. Southeast of there, winter storm warnings in effect tonight. Looks like less than an inch of snow as you get in much of this band until you get to southern Warren County, southern Clinton County. Could be one to two inches of snow in those locations. Winter storm warnings all the way to the northeast. Blizzard warnings, Washington, D.C., up through Philadelphia, New Jersey, into uh, New York City. Uh, looking at that uh, blizzard warning where we could see those winds gusting to 50 miles an hour plus around New York City tomorrow. Here's our future track forecast of snowfall amounts. Probably too high in the Dayton area because this is going to be a very sharp cutoff, mainly to our southeast. But look at those snow totals as you get up toward Washington, D.C. A couple of feet of snow, and as you get into the, some of the higher elevations in West Virginia uh, and Virginia, we could be talking in excess of uh, two and a half feet of snow. Our Bryant Heating Cooling Camera tonight, dry weather on I 75, and 24 degrees our current temperature, a north wind at 20. 21 miles an hour. Weather check readings tonight, as you can see around the Miami Valley, in the 20s at this time. The snow will be heading off to the east later tonight and into tomorrow. Cloudy, windy tonight. Snow mainly to our south overnight, low around 20. North northeast winds at 15 to 25. Clouds break tomorrow, becoming partly sunny. High near 30 degrees, 24 at 10 o'clock, 28 degrees at noon. Up near 30 at 4 o'clock, down to 27 at 6 p.m. And then our storm team two seven day forecast. Sunday's high 36 after morning low of 6. But watch those temperatures moderate next week. A chance of rain toward evening on Monday. Rain showers over to snow showers Monday night and into Tuesday as some colder air returns for midweek. But then it looks like another bit of a thaw on the way by the end of next week. A January thaw at the tail end of the month. Back into the 40s next Friday. Yeah, those 40s are going to feel nice. We've been in the it 40s sure will for after a long all this time. Cold yeah. and wind. Need yep. to melt some of the snow down south. Yeah.